Bryce Young named the starting Alabama quarterback for their upcoming game against Miami. How do you think Young compares to the last three QBs in terms of Tua, Hurts, Jones, all these guys we're talking about as we get ready for the NFL season? How does he compare to them? I think he has a chance to, to be in the same league. Now, I, I'm taking a leap of faith right now, Shay, because all three of those, uh, two, two have started in the NFL, and, and one looks like uh, he is headed to be a starter. So we're, ta we're talking about amazing talent, especially Tua, in terms of generational talent. And I, I think based on what people say, based on those who have seen Bryce Young, he can be there. One thing about him that concerns a few people, uh, you know, we, we'll have to see Saturday afternoon before we make too many other judgments, is he's a little bit smaller. Uh, he is not a big guy. Was... Now, we've we, – go ahead. Okay, but, so that, that, that's a concern that some people have. I, I was going to ask you that exact question. I was going to ask you, is it me? Because when I saw him in high school, I was like, yeah, I don't know if he could stand up in the SEC, but you answered that for me, Paul. He's he's not only short, he's slight. Am I <laughs> am I wrong? No, no, he's he is. Uh, I mean, you you. I mean, I, I think he I think he he barely weighs more than me, Keyshawn, which is saying something. Uh, but yeah, you'd have to you'd have to explain better than than I could how that is going to put him at a disadvantage. Now we certainly know what the disadvantages are three, four years from now when he gets to the league. In the NF, in, in, in college football, you can get away with that a little bit more. However, when he goes up against Miami's defense and Florida's defense and Texas A&M and LSU, uh, it, it could be a problem. But, but nobody is overly concerned about it right now. Nick Saban is as cool as I have seen him in a long time. It could be the fact that he's got seven national championships in his back pocket. He's about to turn 70, and he's still at the top of his game. But uh, I, I think it's something you have to discuss, at least until we see him play. Paul, a huge game coming up. How difficult will the road be for the loser of the Clemson-Georgia game to make the college football playoffs? This is, Jay, well, uh, I've heard so many different uh, opinions on this. Um, many believe that even if Clemson loses, they have a straight path to the champion, to the, to the CFP. I don't agree with that, and I don't mean to harp on your, your beloved ACC, but it's not that great, okay? And, yeah, even, <laughs> and, and I'm being charitable uh, as we head into Labor Day weekend. Uh, let's say they lose this game. Let's say they don't look very good. Uh, where do they go to to plant a flag? Uh, I mean, you, you just can't uh, you know, get national notoriety uh, beating NC State, which will be the next quality team they play. What if they play North Carolina in the championship game and North Carolina has lost a couple of games? Uh, conversely, Georgia. Let's say Georgia loses. Okay, well, are, are we going to write them off? Some people will. But then Georgia gets into the SEC. Let's say they run the table in the SEC. They beat Florida and Jacksonville. And then what they'll have to do is beat Alabama. If they beat Alabama in the, in the SEC championship game and Alabama's undefeated number one in the country, they're going to the CFP. I frankly think Georgia has less to lose Saturday night than Clemson. Mm, interesting. We're talking to Paul Feinbaum right now of the Paul Feinbaum Show. You're listening to Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin here on ESPN Radio. Um, okay, so yesterday... Well, we had a caller that had some interesting words for you, but I want to set it up like this. You said the other day that Jim Harbaugh should just be fired right now. Let's just end the misery in Ann Arbor. Well, then, as I said yesterday, we had a caller call in when we do caller roulette, and he had this to say. Paul? Is Bozo the Clown available? I don't know. Um, I, I, first of all, I, I, would, I would like to go back to last Friday. Uh, and, and I've seen this story disseminated all over the country. And I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that, say, that will come back and say, I didn't say that when the whole country heard me say it. But I, I was we're, we're, this is a radio show, OK? I was not delivering uh, an opinion from the United States Supreme Court. Uh, we were having fun. We were joking around. I was saying that Jim Harbaugh would probably get fired at the end of the year, and then I added, well, go ahead and do it now. Well, I mean, beat the rush. And, and, and what surprises me, and I don't know where you are, Key, or, or, or Jay, Will, or Shea, but I, I, I was most surprised how everyone took that literally. Like, I was suggesting 
that the athletic director at Michigan walk into Jim Harbaugh's office today and say, you're gone uh, before even uh, playing the first game. That's not exactly what I was saying, although, uh, quite frankly, it wouldn't matter if they got rid of him today because I think at the end of the year, we'll, we'll still be at the same place. No, I, I didn't take it. I, I knew you were just saying that they probably shouldn't have retained him. They should have let him go. The fact, Paul, that they did retain him, why, why is he struggling to get things turned around? How come he can't be ultra competitive at Michigan when it's Michigan? Well, he's had, first of all, he's had a hard time developing a quarterback. In fact, yesterday, Tennessee announced that Milton, who transferred, will be the starter at Tennessee. I'm not trying to act like because you start at Tennessee means much of, uh, at Michigan. But, but Jim, is, Jim is very hard-headed. He's stubborn. And, and he has no patience. And I also think he has failed to deliver on the promise that I thought he could, and that was to bring great talent by the masses. He's, ha he's had the top recruit in the country up there from New Jersey a couple of years ago. He's had other really great players, which is understandable. You're the University of Michigan. But when you compare that to his biggest competitor, Ohio State, he looks really bad. I mean, he, he couldn't deal with Urban Meyer, and he's dealing even worse with Ryan Day, and, and I think at some point, you just become stale. Uh, Keyshawn, he's had a couple of good seasons. I mean, when you compare Jim Harbaugh's record to Scott Frost at Nebraska, Harbaugh looks like Bear Bryant and Nick Saban wrapped into one. Uh, but, but we're not talking about Scott Frost here. We're talking about Jim Harbaugh, who I think is held to a higher degree because he took a team to the Super Bowl. He won the, uh, the NFC. He was in championship games. He developed quarterbacks. He has not done any of those things at Michigan.